Well, good day, folks. Welcome to the MB Wild Man channel. On today's video, we're still talking about those survival type tips and tricks that we use out here on the line and when you're out hunting and, and basically just doing some wintertime camp and survival, those types of things. Uh, last week, I did an episode on a, on a real easy to do fire starter uh, using some, some tree resin and wax. Um, if you haven't checked out that video, it's a pretty good one. It was on the channel last week. You can go ahead and check that out. I'd appreciate that. Today, I'm going to show you another version of a fire starter that I use. I call this my duct tape dynamite. Now, I know that sounds a little weird, but it's a great fire starter and it's real easy to do. It's waterproof. You can, they're light. They're easy to carry. Put them in your pack. No problems at all. Uh, and they're real simple to build and they're kind of fun too. So uh, just hang with me here. Uh, listen, if you haven't yet subscribed to the Wild Man channel, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Turn on that bell so that you get notified when we upload new content. Certainly wouldn't want you to miss out on any videos. Uh, as always, we're looking for questions, comments, concerns, you know, feedback, whatever you got along these lines. Go ahead and leave those in the comments down below. And uh, we'll be sure to get back to you on those as soon as we possibly can. So to begin with, we're gonna need a roll of duct tape. Uh, I use red just because it's easy to see, but it doesn't matter what color you use. So a roll of duct tape, uh, you're gonna need a can of Pringles. Uh, the hotter and spicier, the better. I use a jalapeno brand. Uh, hang on a sec. I use these babies right here. Um, I'm not advertising for Pringles, but these are the ones that work the best for me, so that's what I use. Uh, like I said, roll of duct tape. And uh, a little bit of, um, this is jute rope or jute string. I get this at the dollar store, real cheap. Um, it's about a quarter of an inch thick, maybe a little more. And if you're super fortunate, as I happen to be, I have a roll of blasting, <laughs> uh, blasting like detonator cord uh, that I scored years and years ago uh, from a gentleman that used to do some of his old, or his own blasting and mining and, you know, kind of like, looking for gold, I guess. But uh, so I use some of this, um, but I won't use it in this demonstration because you probably don't have access to blasting cord. Uh, if you do, it's better to use in the jute rope, but the jute rope will work. Okay, so first things first, you're gonna wanna cut yourself four strips of duct tape and you're gonna wanna cut them about a foot long. And then you're gonna wanna just overlap them just about a quarter of an inch. So you're creating a wider piece of duct tape. We'll just try that one again. Okay, so there you go. And uh, all you, like this obviously doesn't have to be perfect here. These aren't exactly all a foot. I mean, you can be detailed about it if you want, it doesn't matter. So you just wanna, basically you're creating a wider piece of duct tape. Uh, if you buy the super wide duct tape that you can get, it's a little more expensive, but if you buy that, then just a couple of strips, maybe three would be fine. But um, I like to use four strips of the regular wide duct tape. Uh, then you're gonna take a piece of your, your rope, um, your jute rope from the dollar store or wherever you buy it from, and you're gonna cut about three inches. That, okay, so three inches of that. And you're going to set it halfway into, uh, into your duct tape. So you want to just put it about, you want it about an inch and a half left over. So you're going to want to put it right on the end like that right there. Okay, so this is going to be your, like your little detonator fuse. This is where you're going to light this up. Okay, then you want to come back and you want to leave about an inch and a half space. It doesn't really matter exactly, but you're going to want to leave some space. And then you're going to want to get some Pringles. Okay, so... These are jalapeno Pringles, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to lay them, crush them, break them into the center of this. Okay, but make sure that you leave, make sure that you leave about at least a half an inch on the on each edge. Okay, uh, without any chips on it, without any Pringles on it. So you're going to break these all up. It doesn't matter how many you use, and it doesn't. They don't. The size of the chunks don't make any difference. Okay. I like to break mine up fairly small, just so I have an idea of uh, how much I've got in here. What you'll, uh, what I'm sure you figured out by now is that the grease in the Pringles, the grease content um, is incredibly flammable. So when we light this up and once this starts to go, as we, as these catch fire, not only do they catch fire, but they hold the flame uh, for a, a fairly long period of time. 
Okay. Just again, I don't uh, I don't go crazy. I buy my Pringles at the dollar store, you know. And a one container of Pringles like this will build uh, half a dozen of these babies. So anyway, oh, they are hot. Good. Once you get your row in the middle here, and you've got your tape edges on the outside, all you're going to want to do now is just roll this, starting at the, at the edge with your string, so your string ends up in the middle. You're just going to want to roll it. Try to keep your chips in the center. Okay? Just roll this together. It's okay to crush your chips down. That's all right. You hear them kind of crunch in there. That's fine. Roll this up. And you'll notice how I left a little bit on the end here, obviously, too, without any Pringles on it, just so that when I roll it up, it, it seals it. Once you get to the end, before you pick it up or do too much with it, make sure you pinch your edges off, right? That's why we left, that's why we left this space here with no Pringles in it. So we're just going to seal the end like this. I'm going to seal the top part around the jute rope or around the string. Give it a good squish. Close it down. And there you go. You've just created what I like to call the duct tape dynamite fire starter. And this is phenomenal. Um, until you build one and try one, you won't believe me. But anyway, go ahead and give this a try. It won't take much. Um, the, other, the only other thing that sometimes I do here with this is I will sometimes take a, a, just a regular old candle and I will wax this. I'll wax the jute string. Uh, only on the off chance that I'm lighting this and it's you know, wet and rainy, uh, it does help, to keep this, does help to keep the string dry. right? So sometimes I'll just drip wax on here. But uh, anyway, there it is. The duct tape dynamite fire starter.